Hi, welcome back to the brand new video of the Target Individual Program, Target Individual, uh, Target Individual <laughs> Experience. So, uh, about five minutes ago, I checked the bus schedule and I said that the bus will be at the bus stop in 16 minutes. All right? And um, now, that was, that was five minutes ago. Just got out the elevator and check the bus schedule again now it says that the bus will be here in 24 minutes and i'm like okay now you hear the noise campaign you hear the noise like i said they always they always got to find some see i'm recording right now so they're not doing the sirens right when i was leaving they were doing the sirens upstairs when i was upstairs getting ready getting dressed they were using the sirens so as i'm recording now now they use another form of noise as a weapon all right so anyhow um so we got up after my daughter and i got upstairs from going to the grocery store and i was helping her with her homework her math homework okay so one of the section of her math homework is where they're doing long division but then also have to use the distributive properties to show their work right so you know the whole day pam's been on the phone with her friends she did one load of laundry you know she's on the phone telling her friends i'm doing laundry she did one load of laundry okay then she comes and she says to me this was like minister minister six uh right before i went out to the to the um the groceries she was like you know i i i, I she's like i text you what i wanted from the groceries up a while ago listen it was only 10 minutes okay it was only 10 minutes but she because she's on the phone with her friends and again trying to make it seem like i'm i'm the one that's you know non-cooperative right because this is what they do right they do put what is called projection right these are the knocks they do what is called projection so she's gonna you know while she's on the phone with her friends she's being combative arguing with me you know but nonsense silly stuff but making it seem like if it's just me it's me I'm the one that's, you know, I'm just like, I'm like, I know your game, lady. Come on now. I know your game. So anyway, like I said, coming back from the groceries, uh, you know, all of a sudden now she comes, into, she comes into the living room as I'm helping Alyssa do her homework, and she sits down in front of us, okay? Now, there's one problem that I was working on, and, you know, it's a little bit confusing at first because I'm like, you know, this is, this is some new sort of math that they're doing. You know, so I'm trying to figure stuff out. And when I finally figured it out, she, she gets up and she walks away and she goes, I got you. Right? And I said to her, what did you say? And then she said something else. I said, no, that's not what you said. All right? And then, then I hear, whoop, whoop. All right? So they were microwaving us, uh, you know, to where my daughter started, like, kicking my feet. She, she you know, she sit down and she's kicking my feet. Now she started doing all these hand signals. And I'm like, okay, I see where this goes. So I said to her, calm down and relax yourself because I'm going to give you a spanking. Right? That's what I said to her, <laughs> you know. And I could tell she was still trying to do it, but she became conscious of, of, of trying to do it and she ended up not doing it. So I was like, good. All right, I got to pause this video. All right. I was hoping that I can uh, get to the ATM, but the ATM closed early now. So anyway, as I was saying, right, so... You know, like I said, once I started to see my daughter started getting all fidgety and getting, you know, beside herself, and all of a sudden now she's like, as soon as Pam said that, you know, like I said, and I asked her, what did she say? You know, that my daughter is now kicking me in my, kicking me, uh, uh, you know, like she's taking her feet and kicking it into my feet. You know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That is their way of, of manipulating her, hijacking her conscious mind to send me subliminal message, right? Because they know that, you know, I heard what she said. And, you know, I wasn't going to go after her and be like, what the hell did you say? I wasn't going to do that. So this is why they have my daughter do what she did. Okay? Now, she doesn't know that she's doing it. Right? And like I said, at that point, you know, because, you know, today, again, she's wearing, all, she's wearing the same clothes, all black. So she comes and she sits right in front of us. Okay? <laughs> right in front of us now. 
with her back turned towards us, right? And I'm like, I'm trying to figure this stuff out so I can show my, da my daughter how to do it. And I'm like, I said to her, okay, now I got that. I said, okay, now I got it. I got the answer. She gets to walk away and she goes, I got you. <laughs> you know, but I'm like, wow. And then they started with the sirens. Okay. So like I said, I've experienced the microwaving before. You know, it's, it's very intense. You know, but I know how to shut, shut it down, particularly when it comes to my kids and how when they hijack their mind to target me in a certain way. All right? So I don't get upset. I just, you know, tell them, I'm like, you need to cut it out. Become conscious of what you're doing. Understand that, you know, like with my son, uh, every time he sees me, I walk into the living room. If I go out of the living room, walk back in, he will start putting his hand behind his head. All right? And I said to myself, I finally think... I finally understand what it is that they're doing, right? And again, if you don't, if you're being manipulated subconsciously, right, it turns you off from the people around you, including your children, right? <laughs> but it doesn't do that to me, meaning that, you know, I still love my kids, still help my daughter with her homework, still try to do, you know, what I need to do for them. Whereas their mother, you know, like, you know, she's going on, uh, they're going on a two weeks cruise, right? Which her mother uh, is um, paying for. So all she's thinking about now is just buying stuff, buying clothes for her, basically. Every, you know, she's buying, and I said, I said Pamela, you don't need to buy any more shoes. You have enough. You have more than enough. And the way your, the way your, your bedroom looks, you buy any, stop buying any more clothes and you're going to see what happens. You won't be able to walk in your bedroom at all. But that doesn't matter. It's the excitement. The excitement of going on the cruise and the joy of shopping. You know, <laughs> so, you know, yeah. So my, my daughter had a few packages delivered to her today. Uh, I had bought her a jacket from Macy's because the winter jacket her mother bought her was too thin. You know, so they had a sale on the jacket. I think I paid $65 for okay and so i ordered it for her it came today you know and then uh friday i took her to um yesterday actually i took her to cookies to get her some stockings because i asked her mother to buy her stockings a long time ago because i told her I said, i'm not buying her stockings i said i bought her everything else you know all her school clothes everything else except for, well, except for her the two dresses that her mother bought her so let me just correct myself on that one okay but everything else, shirt, pants, all of that. My son, uh, same thing, his mother bought him two, two school uniform shirts, but I bought everything else. Shoes, all of that stuff. Book bag, all that stuff, right? So, and I, and I asked her because again, when she had sent my daughter to school with no stockings on, when it was so cold, and I called her, I said, listen, can you, can you since you're downtown, since you're you know, close to downtown, pick up some stockings. So she said she ordered some stockings, and it took a while to come. Uh, the funny thing is that, you know, it took two weeks to come and it came today. Right? After, after I bought her the stockings. Right? When I went to pick up from school yesterday, she's like, hey, let's go to cookies to get some stockings for me. So I want you to understand how they pre plan these things. They're always trying to take money out of my pocket, right? Yeah, you know, I'm on disability. You know what I'm saying? Disability don't give you that much. Okay? But that's when you have bills to pay, you know, you don't get that much, right? So, like when. She asked me to go to the groceries. She only listed like six things, which was bread. In mind, you know, she doesn't have her car because of the accident. So she has not been grocery shopping, you know, and the house needed a, a, much, a lot of things. So, I, you know, I end up um, buying more than what she had requested. And I asked for some of the money back, you know. I said, I'm not asking for all of it back. I just asked for some of it back. All right. <laughs> okay. So... You know, I, and it's, you know, it's almost like half of it back. That's all. So she's like, yeah, okay, what have you. But I know she was reluctant. You know, because like I said, they, you know, they're, they're her, because she's, you know, she's accepted what's being done to her. Because again, it, you know, her job is, is in jeopardy if she speaks out against it, you know? So, I, you know, like I said, I, I like I said, that's, that's not me, but I understand, you know, this is how, particularly when it comes to black women and, you know, this is what they do. They've been doing this to them since slavery, 
you know, and how, and again, uh, you, um, subjugating the men to be to, 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 to be less than in the eyes of their women, right? And to control, and using the mothers to control the kids to accept the racism and the bigotry and the brutality of these white races, right? Whereas the men, we're gonna be like, no, you know, I'm gonna teach you your rights and tell you to stand up for yourself and fight back, okay? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah, they don't, they don't want that. They don't, they don't want that at all, okay? This is why, like I said, 80, you know, not just me, but you know, this is why over the past three decades, you know, the vast majority of black children are in, raised in home where it's it's a single, uh, uh, it's, a, it's a household run by the mothers, no fathers in the house, okay? And, uh, you know, let me say the religious letter is a fake or have you, Listen, whether it's a fake or not, it shows the psychological conditioning that's been done to black people since slavery and it's still being done today. The same tactics, the same methods, okay? You know, the, the, the level of brutality may be different, right? But it's still brutality either way. And you see, look, look, the bus is here. So, ha so had, had I waited longer, I would have missed the bus. Oh, this one says it's not. Oh, it's not a service. Oh, look, there you go. There you go. <laughs> the retaliation. Not in service. Okay. There you go. The retaliation. <laughs> uh, telling you. Okay. So yeah, you know, I mean, I I, I wish I I could have left a little sooner, but you know, I had to have my daughter just um, do one other mad problem because you know, I know tomorrow I told her mother, uh, I told Pam, I said, listen, can you please do the her reading package? Is her reading and answer multiple choice questions? Can you at least have that done and have a vocabulary where she has to write sentences and um, you know a few other things and, and that's it that's what you got to do I said if I have if I feel if I'm depending on what time I wake up uh, I may come back over to help her finish all her all of her math um, but she's not if I'm not there she's I know she's not going to finish all the math you know and that's okay you know this week was this week was a lot for them you know their mother again last over, over the weekend you know, doing what she did, even though I told her to, I said, listen, you know, even I told her not to, um, you know, hey, you, you go out, that's fine. Just don't stay out all night because you have the kids up by themselves all night. And that's not good. You know, that is that is not good. You know, not not only do they do they not feel safe, but they don't feel comfortable going to, going to sleep with no adult there. Anything can happen. You know, but she doesn't care. You know, and then I said to her again, Please do not do their hair late Sunday, you know? Like even tonight, tonight she could have done my son's hair, our son's hair. He could have done his hair, you know? But she's been on the phone all day. I did one load of laundry and she's like, oh, I'm doing a lot of stuff. And then she's like, oh, you know, my, 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 my shoulders is, 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 is bummed. And I'm like, I'm like, I don't want to hear that shit. That's you. That's you, your activity led to that. When you know that you had a bad arm, you know that you have asthma, and you you know you can get severe asthma attack, and yet because you know you you with a group of friends, you don't seem to ever think about your asthma until shit happens, and then all of a sudden now you want to be uh, uh, you know reactive. And I said I don't want to hear that shit. Don't tell me that shit anymore, because I'm tired of talking to you about it. You know when you care for 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 someone and they just you can tell that they they just don't care. Period. They don't care, you know, because of their conditioned mindset. They don't, they, they really don't care. It's all about fun and making themselves look good. And, you know, and she's like, what does he do? He's not working. I'm like, okay, yeah, you know, I'm on disability. You know that, you know what I'm saying? Not like you don't know that. So why you keep pretending like you know, like you don't know that. And that's the shit that kills me, you know? It's like, you know this. 
right? You know this. So why do you keep acting like if, you know, you don't know it? You know, it's, I mean, it's ridiculous. And this is what I'm talking about. This, but that's the knock. That's the narcissist, right? And again, I'm not clinically labeling her because I'm not a, a psychiatrist, but I know the signs and I know the criteria. okay? And I use it in a context, not to use it to say every woman is a knock, no, just the per, just the, just this one who I who I de- who I've been dealing with for, you know, the past what, 16, 15, 16 years? You know what I'm saying? And I know earlier in my target that I had narcissistic tendencies in the fact that I was more focused on what was going on with me. You know what I'm saying? In terms of my target. You know? But I did not realize that she only cared about her. And what it is that she wanted, and I, I I couldn't see it because I was busy. I was too busy focusing on my targeting and the effect that it had on me negatively. That was a big part of why I didn't see it, you know. And so, like I told her tonight, when she was on the phone talking all this shit. I said, "Listen, I said, don't mess with me. You know me already, right? I said, you know, I'll push back on you. I said, I said you know, I'll confront you, right? It ain't. I don't. I'm not being quiet, you know." She's like, you know, this is why I feel. I said, yeah, because you're all about how you feel. You're not, you don't think logically. You're all about how you feel. <laughs> and she goes, yeah, well, I feel like it is. I said, there you go. You feel. And see, I don't use the word feel. I use the word know. Because I know you. I don't feel you. I know you. Okay? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, you see, this is the problem with a lot of these women today. Is that they go by the way they feel. So if they meet a man and it makes them feel good, Right, even those moments temporarily, and all these and all and all they're getting is you know, like I said, I understand if you're younger, if you're younger, you know, as men and women, young men and young women, growing up in this culture, right, you know, particularly you know how music influences your behavior somewhat, you know, you tend to, you, you know, like when you see, there's a song by Cardi B, and she's talking about uh, eat eat her booty like a like a plum or some shit like that and this and that. I'm like you know but this is what this is what these kids are listening to now you know in the 90s, 80s and 90s you know yeah you had a little Kim right but it was never this vulgar you know because now they're talking about you know um Doing other chicks and you know what I'm saying like you know that they have that whole bisexual lesbian thing that's become popular for them, you know, and the lyrics is even raunchier. And these are women, right? These are young women, you know. And they they said they said you know men can no longer sexualize us, we sexualizing themselves. And I'm like, fuck, what is, what is, that's the most stupidest shit I ever heard. Okay, but that's that's their condition. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys in the next video.